is a very interesting little appeal there. Dean Jones has run down the wicket. Got the ball tangled up in his body. And as it fell out of his uh, pads, he's given it a whack with his hand. There's an appeal there by the, the wicketkeeper for handling the ball. Can't believe it. Well, England don't like it, of course. And uh, neither do the crowd. And he's been given out. Well, that's a surprise. Stoke. But I don't know. I can sort of understand it in a way. You can handle the ball if you're just basically trying to protect yourself from injury. Law 33, 2 says, notwithstanding one of them, a batsman will be out, will be not out under this law if he handles the ball to avoid injury. Right, so he's not out because he's trying to avoid injury, Angus. What sort of injury? Well, the ball hitting him. Well, that's not an injury, that's a bruise. <laughs> You've got to take the odd blow, haven't you, in this? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, where was that going to bounce to? Hit a footmark and spin back on? I don't think you can just catch it. Ken Healy might have appealed. Kiramore. I think as Darrell caught it, he suddenly realised I shouldn't have done that. So you could say now there's, there is a discussion. They're all saying it's nowhere near the wickets. In fact, there has been an appeal. And he's been given out, handle ball. Well, that won't be a popular decision, certainly, but it's something that Daryl Cullinan won't do again. Here we go. It's a totally innocent thing. He doesn't think it's going to bounce on the wicket. He hasn't knocked it away. But David Richardson's quite right. He suggested that might have landed in one of the footholes or where the batsman makes his mark and spun back onto the stumps. Then he might have been able to stop it with his bat. But I think that he's done that without a great deal of thought uh, sort of thing you do in the nets throw the ball back to the bowler and the West Indies have taken advantage of it and it won't be a popular move no it won't and um, I'm sure Daryl Cullinan is furious but my initial reaction is that you can't blame the West Indies to be honest um, I don't know whether in the similar circumstances I would have done the same thing but certainly I would have thought of it very seriously and he would have complained and made a bit of an issue of it. To Amanath. Oh, oh and uh, that must have been very close. The stumps, he's knocked the bales off. Or has he used his hands? It seems to me the bales are still on there. It may be that he's out handling. You know, the, the same plan by Maradona on Argentina, a FIFA World Cup. But India's Amanath loses his wicket. Didn't wait for a decision. We'll watch that again. It's pushed down. It's going back towards the stumps. And yes, he handles the ball. Jimmy Arnath out handling the ball. And he gives himself out. Years of experience. Off he walks. A very disappointed man, but a very sporting one. Well, that's worth a shout. And, oh, he's got to be out. He's just hit it with his hand. And they're appealing and he's been given out. Steve Waugh, uh, 
I think he was more worried about the LBW appeal and he was looking at the umpire and suddenly heard the ball bounce near the stumps. The automatic reaction was to put his hand out. The first appeal was for LBW and then the Indian players started appealing for handle the ball and Steve Waugh had to go. I haven't seen that happen for a long, long time. Oh, wow, way well. What happened there? What happened there? He's been given out. Handled the ball. Ram Gooch getting that one uh, high on the bat, and he's belted it away with the back of the hand. So absolutely no doubt there. And I think Graham Gooch knows from the, the way he looked around slowly it was the look of a guilty man. I think it was just uh, an instant reaction seeing that the ball was going to fall on the stumps and then I think he suddenly realised he'd done the wrong thing.